Hey y'all, this is A.L. Thickmadon and this is the recap review for Ready to Love, Last Resort. So the episode started out with everyone seeing that the numbers have drastically dropped and, and there are only five people left. And Rashid and Adriana had a little conversation. Um, right about now, there's nobody really out there like that for Rashid outside of Adriana. And so you can tell that she's really feeling Cal Fani. And so he kind of is trying to see where he fits in. And he, he kind of is pulling back and she can tell and she's feeling uneasy about that. And I'm like, okay, are you feeling uneasy about it because you want all the men chasing after you or you know what what is that about like because you still have a whole nother man that's living for you but you know she i'm just glad that she's very aware that she is very physically attracted to calfani versus rashid is somewhat more of a familiar face more than anything else from what we can gather from what she said before. So it's kind of like safety net type situation. And that's her number two now. So it's like, whew, I'd be kind of on edge myself so I can get it, I guess. So anyway, the families are coming in and the first family member that we end up meeting is Winter's sister. And she's gorgeous. And so they actually saw Anthony and she was quizzing him a little bit. And the main thing that always comes up is whether or not he has been in love before. And he told us again that he has not been in love before with a person. When he was in love before, it was because he was in love with football. And that kind of raises red flags for everyone. But despite all of that, her sister said that she likes him. And Winter said that she has kissed a lot of frogs and this might be her prince. So she's going to have to see where this one is going to lead. So Calfani's parents are the family members who will be meeting Adriana. They met her. She hugged them. They were eating lunch together. And they, said, <laughs> they talked about how everybody lived for Calfani when he first got there. And he was like, I was trying to tell him it must be something in the pheromones or something with us men because everybody be living for him. But they seem to be hitting it off all right. Rashid has called, FaceTimed, whatever you want to call his sister to get some advice because he normally introduces his family to the person that he is with when he knows that it's serious and they really are deemed to be official, like the whistle. And they are their you know, his actual girlfriend. So, so Rashid is talking to his sister and she was just like, well, you know, if you have a gut feeling now, then, you know, just imagine what it could be down the road. And so he was like, well, you know, while I have you in this capacity, would you want to talk to Adriana? And so she was like, eh, no, I don't really think that that's something I want to do. <laughs> so she don't even want to talk to it. I'm like, oh gosh. So anyway, back to the little lunch situation that's going on with Cal finding his parents and Adriana. They seem to be hitting it off well. And they asked her, you know, how does she feel about kids? And she said that she's always wanted to have kids. She's all about family and all of that. And they were like, well, we're big on family too. And we have a big family. Like she said, she wants to have a decent amount of kids. They say that, you know, they're really all about family and they meet up once a week, like after church. And so she's very intrigued because her family isn't really close knit like that, so to speak. And they just meet up like around holidays and that's it. And the fact that they meet up so often and they are really that active in one another's lives it's very, very awesome to her. And so when she walked away, <laughs> he wanted to know, you know, what their feelings on her were. And they said, you know, she seems, you know, nice. And most people are normally nervous when they meet somebody's parents, but she seemed very calm and cool and not nervous at all. 
And he said, you know, I liked her before. How funny. He said that, you know, of course he liked her before, but, you know, after meeting his parents, he likes her even more. So Anthony <laughs> had like a little uh, nighttime situation outside with his sister who is also his bff like they are really 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 close and so he introduced winter to her he wanted to see how they were gonna vibe because he was like if you're gonna be with me you're gonna have to be cool with my sister because when you see me you're gonna see her and we tight so anyway they seemed to hit it off well and she gave Winter, the, you know, time to ask her anything that she wanted to ask. So the floor was open. And so she was like, well, do you really feel like Anthony is ready to love? And she said, well, you know, the other people who he's been with, you know, he's just had like long term friendships with them and nothing seemed serious. But I can appreciate and I like the fact that you were looking at his eyes and his body language and it's just the vibe. It's the chemistry that she can see, you know, happening between them. So she said, you know, it's all up to God. And, you know, just if she had to say one way or the other, she thinks that he really might be ready to love right now because he has never been in love before. So it's crazy. Y'all, Adriana is still kind of, talking with Calfani about what happened when he and she linked up with his parents earlier in the day and she was like you know it was really nice meeting your pam your parents and you know he wanted to know you know well what's going on with you and Rashid because you know y'all see like y'all be having fun we all together and she was like you know we do and it is what it is you know we do have fun and so he was like, well, what makes me different from him? Or, you know, what, you know, what is the difference? And so she was like, I can't explain, you know, it just is what it is. When I'm around Rashid, I feel like I could be myself. And when I'm with you, I feel like it's chartering unknown waters or something like that, she said. And, you know, with some people that can be very exciting. So... I don't know how he, I don't know how he's processing her saying that because it seems like, uh, you feel this way, but are you feeling this way because of how I look and what I do for a living or what? But I don't know. It's, it's going to be interesting who she actually ends up choosing or how it goes down in the future. Cal Funny and Anthony were working out and they were talking and want to know how each person's date and, you know, meetup went. And Anthony said everything went great. He got invited to the cookout and he was like, okay then. And you know, the problem comes into play where Anthony feels pressured into something. He does not want to be pressured into anything. He is like dead set against that. And that might actually be something that sabotages him because it's like, don't look at everything as somebody trying to rush you into something. My thing is, if somebody likes you, why can't you just go with the flow? And if the flow is going a little bit fast, then it is what it is. Like, <laughs> sometimes you got to go with the flow. Because if you don't, you might miss out on something amazing. I think Winter, from what I can tell, she's an amazing catch. And you might end up missing out on something great because you... Feel like you're being pressured into something. No, she just wants you to be there for her. And if you really are feeling her, act like it and court her accordingly and act like you want to be with her in more than just a friend type situation like you've been with other people. Y'all, so anyway, Rasheed met up with Adriana and he basically was trying to bow gracefully. He was like, you know, I don't want, just like he was speaking with his sister, I, I forgot to mention that earlier. When he was speaking to his sister, he was like, you know, I don't want my courting someone to basically change into me chasing someone. And in my opinion, I feel like at times that goes hand in hand. A lot of people like the chase. And it's like, it, it can be fun. 
So it's like, what what are you talking about? Like you basically gonna give up all because Cal Funny has now surpassed you. And she made a good point when she told him, she was like, well, you know, Cal Funny and I had a conversation and he knew that you were my number one. But he was like, you know, I know that's your number one, but I'm gonna do what I gotta do to prove to you that I'm trying to be in the race too. So she was like, well, I wanted you to be my daddy. So I mean, what's what's going on? And so he basically said he gonna stay. And I'm like, it took her saying to you that her daddy is gonna be coming and she wanted you to meet her daddy for you to stay. Oh, okay. You really was just about to leave though. So Adriana and the two gentlemen, Calfani and Rashid, had their individual moments with him and he grilled them. He is um, a therapist, I think, a psychiatrist. Y'all, I, I don't want to say the wrong thing. I think it said therapist. Um, but <laughs> one of the questions he asked them was something about uh, what is a human or something. I don't know. He's like, what kind of human are you or something? I was like, what? I don't know what is going on. But anyway. He was asking all kinds of stuff. He It was like a lot of icebreaker questions that he was asking them. And um, he gave Adriana feedback. And after it was all said and done, basically what he saw was the same thing that Adriana saw, which was that she did not have that great of a connection with Rashid. So she ended up calling Rashid to meet up with her outside so they could talk. And he didn't know what the meeting was going to be about, whether it was just to like give an update about what her father said or what. But this was her telling him that, you know, we came into this with a really strong connection and the connection was not there anymore. And I feel really bad about this, but I'm going to move forward with Calfani. So it is what it is and he was like you know that's life it's, it's it's just life you still are a phenomenal woman i'm not gonna hold any grudges and you know on the way out he said in his confessional something about how you know he is ready to love and there is somebody out there for him he's just it, it's just not her so it is what it is she hasn't talked to Calfani yet, so we'll see what happens later with that. Anthony met up with Winter and, you know, she had to kind of remind him that, you know, we are down to the wire. Like, are you ready to love? And he was like, you know, I don't really like to be, I mean, without really going there and saying it like this. But he was like, I have a way of putting a wall up and... When I love, I love hard. I'm like he made he made it plain that he really puts his all into a situation where he's in it. So he's very, very into romance and all of that. But if he's gonna go there, he's gonna go all out. So he is making plans to show her how he feels. So let's see what that is. So we are actually at the end of the episode. Well, the end of the journey, let me, let me correct myself. We're at the end of the journey and there are two couples instead of the usual like three. And they have winter waiting to see if Anthony's going to show up. And Adriana had Calfani wait on the dock to see if she was going to show up. So Anthony finally appeared and winter seemed very happy. And she asked him, you know, she was like, well, I know you're ready to love, but are you ready to love me? And then he eventually said yes. And they kissed and all that good stuff. So then they went over to Calfani and Adriana and Adriana walked up and she let him know that she told Rashid that he's ready to love, but just not ready to love her. And he was like, well, what does that mean? Like, what? And so she was like, I told you, y'all, he killed me. I don't know why, but when she first walked up before she even really said anything, he was like, you look good, baby. 
it's like the way he said it. I just felt like it. It just made me automatically just be like, baby, baby, don't trip. Just lower your tone, cause you'll get hit. I just heard pop smoke, and I don't know why. It just has to stop. <laughs> and then he said baby again, like at the end. And I was like, why? Why pop smoke keep popping into my mind? But anyway, so as they are commiserating, you know, as, as they are, you know, um, sealing their situation with a kiss, Anthony and Winter roll up and they congratulate one another. And Tommy actually had it set up where the speedboat, I guess, uh, was going to carry them off into the sunset. And they just enjoy one another. So I am excited to see what's going to happen next week on the reunion special. I don't know if it's just going to be one episode, two or three. I don't know. But we're going to see. I think last time they did this, it was like two. Well, yeah, y'all. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope that y'all thoroughly enjoyed this show. Hope y'all enjoyed this recap review. Go on ahead and subscribe if you have not liked this video. Comment down below. Let's get this discussion to going. Anyway, I gotta go. I hope y'all had a good one. I'll see y'all later on. Bye.